Hey, beautiful, 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 beautiful angel. Love your imperfections every angle. Tomorrow comes and goes before you know. So I just have to let you know the way that you're in love is so amazing. And you're doing so, so well that you are changing. Now it's solstice and you're here, you're just feeling faded. Saying you're a twin flame love, you need to face it. Hey, beautiful, 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 beautiful angel. Love your imperfections every angle. Tomorrow comes and goes before you know. So I just had to let you know you're in love. And yes, time flies. We're here again at the solstice. Today's video is about love and relationships. All kinds of relationship stuff. That's what the Mercury retrograde was about. Things are going to go direct. You've probably had a lot of technology and communication, miscommunications, dropped connections, things like that happen. This is about love, the love that you're in, that you're already in with your true love, your twin flame, your real twin flame, I'll just say it that way, and relationships. What does this energy mean for you? So as we head here towards the end of the year of 2018, we've had a lot. 2018 was about the emotions. 2019 is going to be about your body. And a lot of you are already feeling this. You're feeling things starting to affect you in different ways. It's kind of throwing you off because some of the things that have come from the cosmic level and from other timelines, they're just weird. They're just going to pop up in weird ways. Now, what do you do about this? What does it mean? This has to do with your tolerance, your tolerance levels what you have tolerated, what you're no longer tolerating, what can you tolerate going forward. But you see, there's two of you. There's two people. So tolerating stuff for both of you, that is what gets to be a challenge because you're like doing this. Ugh. Okay, so this has to do with your tolerance, your health, your well-being. That's your emotional side. How is your well-being? Do you tune into each other? How's your twin flame's well-being for the day? You might say things like, well, I feel on my twin all the time. You actually will feel your twin most of the time, but at times you may not be feeling your twin. And there are reasons for that. And there are things you should do during that time, mainly pay attention to you. Which gets hard for people because you've kind of become accustomed to, you know, where the focus needs to be and it's sometimes that delicate dance of, you know, am I here or am I here? Are you doing the twin flame two-step? Maybe, maybe not. The other thing to know about is your temperance. Temperance, this is a higher up-leveled connection to yourself, your authentic self. So you've been up-leveling. In fact, everybody's up-leveling. But not everyone has gone through the same process with it. Part of that reason will have to do with how much are the lovers supposed to tolerate? How much can we tolerate? How much are you here for? If you are having people come and dumping their stuff on you like you're the local garbage dump, pay attention to that. If they are dumping their frustrations, their angers, you're going to feel it differently in this energy. That's what a lot of relationship stuff is going to be about. How does it make you feel? And it's important to pay attention to how you feel and to not second guess yourself, to go with your first feeling. Now, discerning it, that's a different thing because sometimes that first feeling will come right away. And yet discerning what it all is and sifting and sorting it, 
that's when you have to engage your body because you will want things out. That's where I come in because that is what I'm here to teach. I'm here to teach about love and actually how to unify yourself because there's still a lot of misconcept out there of what is union and people are becoming discouraged by what they're perceiving as some people are in union, some people aren't. Some people are simply with a soulmate and that's the fact, okay? It may be that that is a very good soulmate, but that person may lack the discernment to really feel who that person is to them. And it may be a shock a few months from now when those relationships tend to fall away. To get to where you need to be, it has to be a deep inner body focus. And we're, not, we're talking about every single level. We're talking about your health, your well-being. We are talking about your mental, emotional side. We are talking about the internal teeny tiny parts of you right down to yourselves. That is also where I come in because I'm here to teach about the bodies and the subtle body connection. You have parts of you you have not been able to engage until the very end of 2018, and for many people it will be in 2019. That is why all of the material that I've been promoting has been a buildup to that. If you have been able to avail yourself of it, thank you very much, but it is here to help you. Please utilize it because it will still be helpful for you. So I have some things coming up that are intended to help people further. I have a live class on January 6th. That's here in Chicago. That's a Sunday afternoon. And that Sunday, it will be from 1 till 4 p.m. Central Time. It is a four-hour class where we will do hands-on. You'll learn. And there is an outline for it because I lead you through some things so that you walk away feeling confident so that you feel connected and you feel like you have a handle on things it's where i'm teaching you to fish instead of handing you fish over and over and over i also have an online webinar that i am going along with december 28th is when it starts that's a friday evening i'm going to do friday evening sunday morning okay so as you end your week and as you begin the next week, this is intended to support you. This is intended to support some busy people um, that kind of scales it into something that's manageable. And just like any coaching, I'm here to motivate you. I'm here to not leave this to guesswork. So if you've ever had someone who, you know, you say, well, I need a push, I need to procrastinate, I'm that person. I'm going to get you people doing this and engaging your light body in several ways. Getting your channels open, getting the parts of you that alleviate things, and getting the parts of you that need to connect with each other, and breath work. You may think you know breath work, there is another level of breath work. So it's not to criticize any breath work that you've already been having, okay? When you're together, you're going to have to have ways of dispelling things. And you're going to have to have ways of getting rid of the day in and day out stuff that happens. That's also going to be a focus is the day in and day out stuff because you will find that as you move along here, you can only take each day as it comes. You more than likely have been spending a lot of time scaling your life so that you can actually get through. Well, now you're going to add another person to that. A lot of you are looking forward to that. You've been really looking forward to it for a long time. But you need to balance each other's activities, levels, and you have a couple of dimensions to balance. That's going to take time. It just takes time and linear time so that you don't have a nervous breakdown. So if you're not getting your upper channels opened and you're actually not focusing on that, if you're trying to do things with your mind or... Um, it's, it's not that I don't do readings. When I do readings, I focus on the high heart. I have people talk to me because when they open up their throat chakra, they are opening up their high heart. That's why I don't do email readings, because it's not as effective. I can do email readings. I can do distant uh, feeling people when they write me. I don't go by photos. I go by the heart energy. 
and it is the high heart energy so it is the higher dimensional energy that is where my connections are so my connections are here so that i can um see and perceive in a neutral way where things need to shift and we get through it and we get it shifted that's what i do in private one-on-one -on -one sessions and i also we do some of this in class so part of this class is intended for people to ask questions, get some clarity, find out some things. There's quite a bit of camaraderie in this. It's very warm and fuzzy. So we're here in the winter solstice now in the northern hemisphere. Some of this energy is going to be very exhausting for people. You're here for your long winter's nap. You're here to hibernate. You might not be with your true love hibernating yet. Yet. Okay, although this is a very, very important time, like I saying, I changed some of the lyrics and I'm going to put the link down below as to who this is. Um, this is a song by a young man named Bazi. Uh, he's great. I, I love the song, so I decided to sing a little tidbit of it. And I encourage you to hear it all the way through. You know, there's so many things out there that are so twin flamey books and films and videos and music videos and you know we love them i love them too i love them too sometimes those get you by sometimes just one piece of a lyric opens your heart and touches you how is that someone else is singing it someone else's voice is singing it may not be your twin flames voice singing it i'll tell you how it comes right to you through the heart how many times has it happened where you're at a store and you hear a song on the loudspeaker and you stop dead in your tracks and you say, my God, there's another message from you know who, my true love. There they are giving me a message when I'm doing the most mundane thing possible and buying foot cream or something mundane, right? But it boosts you. And I know some of you are saying, Oh, Patricia, I'm so tired of like signs and signals and numbers and other people are like, I saw an 1111, I'm so excited. And, you know, that might be very new for some people and it might be very old news for other people. And it's okay because you will keep moving along. Those are signs that things keep progressing and you're moving through a process. And... There are stages, but one of the stages that also should be addressed is, does everyone run? Mm. Everyone gets away from each other, for sure. Even soulmates run, though. So how do you tell? Through the heart, okay? And I mean deep in the heart. Because there's a lot of stuff that have been attached to the ego that may or may not be a valid connection that you want to keep. There are connections that you don't want your twin to keep either. And that also is the focus in the Twin Flame class. So I'm not doing this by, um, I do get feedback from people. I do this with guidance. We go with guidance on what to do. I literally walk you through channel opening. We do very high level, fifth dimensional light code lucid meditations with your twin that you can then practice at home so we do them you can have your camera on or off and this is intended to support so i kind of broke this into a year-end segment two times per week for forty dollars okay that's actually one two that's one week one two that's another week that's four segments that's $10 a segment, okay? Use some of your holiday money or your year-end money to do it. It will be very helpful for you. And then I set up a New Year segment, again, two times per week. The reason I did that was to try and make it easier for people to come join. And please stop being a camper. What's a camper? Someone who's camping out on the internet and you know looking through this like like you're at the library let's see what this is let me look in the index there and you're getting yourself distracted there's nothing wrong with a lot of the stuff that leads you like a stepping stone to this point 
There's nothing wrong with astrology, astronomy, readings, and, and you know, I do readings too. I'm not here to criticize people. Someone's got to help with this, right? And someone's still got to, you know, create other things, create music and books and technology and sell real estate. That's another thing that gets confusing for people. And you have times where people get confused as to what is their mission. We talk a little bit about that in this class, okay? I've done several webinars where we talk about what does it mean. First of all, it has to be something that you'll like doing. Otherwise, you'll get bored with it and you'll give up and you'll get distracted and you'll get just as tired out as you have with other types of jobs. Even if you don't know what it is, you if you don't know yourself, it's really time to come to my class. That too is not a criticism. Many people get too lost in other relationships. They compromise a lot. They're, they're not sure of themselves. It's been flavored by their family. I had a friend who actually just graduated and when she decided to go back to college and take advantage, she had been in the Navy, she had a small window to take advantage of what the Navy offered as a benefit, which was to get some education, get some college level education, and she went. And do you know what her dad said to her? He said, are you trying to be better than us? Now, having met her dad, I'd have to say, he didn't really mean it uh, in a bad way. You know, he's got a good heart, he cares about his kids, but it blurted out, okay? And she was taken aback and she started doubting herself. Am I doing the right thing? I'm the first one in my family to go to college. And you know what? She went for it and I'm very proud of her. And despite, you know, things happening in the family, because she made that decision, it started to get on rails. She had the, she had the financial things set up. She got an apartment very easily. Her mom let her use the car and she started pursuing what she felt in her heart. Now, I've had very similar situations. I've had a, I had my eye on a job once and I held on to that thing and just, you know, called about it for about two weeks till the VP who had to make a decision was actually, he, he went out sick, they made the decision while he was gone. And I got it, it was a lot of work. How many of you have had positions or jobs where you feel like you've sort of created it? Like you got hired for one thing, but you started wearing a few hats and found out you really liked it. Hey, those are the kind of things that when I guide people through their body in my class, they can start to feel, you can start to manifest, and you can start to formulate it. Because saying no to other things means you say yes to yourself. And sometimes that's what it takes. You know, um, I know for sure that around this time of year, a lot of people, you know, they'll party it up. And, and then they'll say, well, I have no money for other things. Okay, why? Because they spent their money on partying or something. I know it. I know it. But what if you took some of that and expended it in a more positive direction? Okay? Especially if that's something that runs in your family and you're saying, well, you know, I really want to make some changes. Stop camping. Stop camping out on this stuff and sleeping on the ground. Come and take advantage of that higher up-leveled self, okay? We're calling it temperance. Temperance means two things. Temperance means balance. Temperance is one of the cards in the tarot, okay? But it's about balance. It's about pouring a little bit of this and a little bit of that. If you look on the card, it's like a picture of someone doing this. They're pouring, okay, they're balancing. But what else is temperance, okay? If you take a piece of metal and you put it under a fire and you hammer that thing and you're, <clears throat> okay, that thing's going to come out stronger. At least that's the idea when they make a sword or something, okay? But for angels, 
temperance means your strength is being up leveled. That's what that means. And it happens by making your high heart connections. It doesn't happen by being in your lower chakras. That's not the place where it's going to happen. Not down here, up leveled. Up. Okay? Because a lot of you, you're coming out from that old dimensional level and you're starting to breathe a little bit of fresh air. And maybe you're exhausted with it. Maybe you're feeling that you're fading. Okay, I'm going to tell you something. Last year, around this time, whoo, the exhaustion, like everything seemed like it was going to break down. And it threw me. In fact, I was um, so affected on my hips. I, I actually have a room upstairs. I actually had to go up the stairs the same way I taught my son, like this, up. And then I had to go down by sitting on my butt and going down the stairs because my nerves were affected and I didn't trust that I would have the quick reflexes in case I slipped. I didn't want to have an accident and make it worse. Now, that kind of thing I know is happening with people. If it hasn't happened, it will begin to happen. But having been through it, I know what to do about it. I know how to get the channels open. And, you know, it's it's not that you are not here for love. It carries with it a lot of emotions. It's going to bring up things from the past from a cosmic level. It's happening because time flies. Okay, and it's time for that up-leveled self to really get, get going with it. So please stop camping. Start to get uh, something where you are connecting yourself to where you need to be connected. And I have several levels of available choices for people to help you. Now, I have those two segments. I also have a webinar that I did called Human Body in Transition. And I just came out with my ebook. So I have my first book out. It's available as an electronic book. It's in a very easy to read format, easy to download. The links are below. The link for this is below. And also the sessions that I do. I do a causal body session. We get your energies moving and shifted. I do a twin flame spirit chat, and I also do um, a breath session if you would like that, if you need help with that. Now, my higher self was telling me get this ready because people are going to need this going forward. And yes, people do need to know. I am a teacher of the template for relationship from 5D. That's what it's called. Because you're having your relationships here Love from 5D and relationships. How do you relate? How do you relate to foods? How do you relate to family? Because there's no more hiding. There's no more shoving it under the rug. There's no more in the closet about stuff. Okay? Even being a twin flame. Some of you are going to find that this whole year that you've been going through stuff, you start to see some of the family and friends and colleagues around you going through stuff. Are you going to let their stuff distract you, affect you, make you procrastinate? Are you going to camp out with them and hunker down around the campfire and talk about those good times where, you know, maybe, maybe not. But I'm encouraging you, go forward with your own true love who has the connection to your heart. Now, a couple other things to let you know. Um, you can reach me at twinflamesmerge at gmail.com. That is where I will help you to uh, select a session if you don't know. My website is twinflamesmerge.com, and I have another website where I have a store, twinflamebody.com. All of my material is, this has been prepared very lovingly for it to help you. It is 
legit. It is uh, filed at the Library of Congress, which where I have a registration for it. And at my store, one of the things I'm able to help with is if you would like an intuitive session. So let's say you're camping out and you don't really want to camp out anymore, okay? You just haven't known what to do. I get it, okay? Because what a lot of people do is they'll look at this blog and they'll look at that blog and they'll do a little research and, you know, you, you want to spend your money wisely. I understand that. I do understand it. You want to get, you know, what's proper for you. I understand that. So you'll glean what you can from here and here and here. Now, what a lot of people don't cover is that there are two people. And that is what makes me different. I can feel both of your energies. That's why sometimes it's opposite day. You may not have something that your twin has. Okay? Just like I have things that I, I don't have that I feel affected by, like certain allergies. Okay? You might sense it. But come and get some guidance on some things. So... One of the things that I do with my other website is I have an intuitive guidance session where I will help you put together a little package of items, very carefully curated and specific package to help you with whatever things might be needed for you to get yourself better, your health, your well-being, and focus it and make it really reasonable, okay? What are you going through? And it could be all kinds of stuff. Perimenopause, that affects a lot of ladies. Addictions, okay? What would you do to clear your system and be holding the love and getting, okay, it sounds like a cliche, getting high on life, getting high on love. But if some part of you knows that you are actually not really supposed to be doing this, but you don't know how, that's when you should come to see me. Um, in this webinar, I have quite a bit about what the human body goes through when it's in transition to a higher level. I have a lot of that in my ebook. Okay, you can get the supplies on my website. And here is my book. The Twin Flame Body, Your Subtle Body Connections, that is the first book in what will be a couple of books that I come out with. So, I'm here to help. I'm here to make it easy for you. I get the guidance. I narrow it down and get it focused. And once again, uh, taking away those layers of separation because you and your twin are connected you can and will still affect each other. Your twin flame is the only person on the planet who can have the positive and transformative influence upon you. So thanks so much for watching. Uh, the links are down below. Write me if you have any questions and join my class. We have a lot of fun in the class. We joke, we talk about what's going on. Uh, one other tip I'll give you for this is get some local honey, preferably stuff from your own area where the bees that live in your area have been, you know, gathering the pollen from the flowers in your area, the flowers and plants. And this will help with staving off some of the um, upper respiratory types of inflammations and illness, colds, sniffles, etc. So that's something, that's something I don't really sell, although I can get it for you and ship it for you if you'd like. So thanks so much for watching, and I look forward to the solstice. I think you will too. I will be back with another video. Have a wonderful holiday. Happy coming of the light as we go into the longest night of the year in the Northern Hemisphere and the longest day of the year in the Southern Hemisphere, okay? Thanks so much. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. Bye.